I am on such a love-hate relationship with this game right now. Uh, it's mostly because I'm also forgetting that games back in 2007 weren't exactly made to be played all day long. I don't understand why. Oh, I can unclick that. Okay. I'm like trying to figure out this map is so strange. So, um, what's end up well, what has ended up happening the last few times is I play the game for about an hour and then I get frustrated because something is kind of stupid and then I quit for the day and I think I don't want to play that game again but then I wake up the next morning and I want to play it again so uh, right now our problem is the uh, radiation and I said that I probably needed a suit to get through there but as it turns out there's not really a whole lot I can get this early so I think I just need to wear this stuff uh, the urchin and the fireball and I'll take this off when I'm through but I read online that this is just a belt of radiation and I don't really have to worry about it so I'll get through that and then uh, I do have a flashlight something that I thought I didn't have oh now I have night vision apparently I mean maybe I didn't have a flashlight when I thought I did I tried using this when I was in the tunnel and it didn't work so I don't know that's weird. Alright, so apparently all I have to do here is just run through when the radiation starts to tick. And I think I'm going to wait for it to tick louder before I waste all of my energy. So I'll get on through here and then continue on. Okay, so we'll see what kind of damage that did. Absolutely nothing. Pretty nice. So I'm actually surprised I've got all of this stuff right now. I wonder why that is. So this thing is minus 18 endurance. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Because I had that one which drops a lot of that by 10%, but I'm okay with that for twice as much health, right? 200% health, I'm okay with that. Okay, so... Three guys here, it looks like one of them is friendly. Maybe there's not three people here. Well, it's up to you. Do they live? No. No, they don't. Okay, he's running off over there. Like, there are all kinds of things here that I haven't even turned in, but I don't really care. <laughs> Alright, it looks like there might be more radiation coming up. Maybe just that way. Or not even that way. Because we need to come up here to go into the pipe so I think inside of this place we have to kill that guy Borov and then I need to head over there to the lab entrance so there's the pipe ambience is shockingly good for a 13 year old game Nope. Okay, so just to ensure that I am in fact doing the right thing. Ah, oh, there's evidence, blah blah blah, there's the lab. Ah, uh, presence. Bandits of the basin, dark valley, several. Okay. 
Okay, to get the lab, you'll need two electronic keys to give you one, but you have to take one from Barov, the bandit leader. So you need to take the second key to the lab from Barov, the secret lab, to get the documents. Uh, okay, so I guess this is just going to be a way to sneak in. I almost wonder, is it faster just to sprint there, shoot the guy, pick up the key, and then leave? Like, let's find out, I guess. Or, I think it actually wants me to go this way, so I really should follow the quest um, directions, because if I don't, I'll end up having to redo them. And that's just extremely unfun. Okay, now if this were Metro, there would be things sprawling out of the water by now. That is very mean, but probably to be expected. Okay. So it looked like I was losing stamina while I was walking through that. More radiation. Lovely. Just want to try to avoid, if possible, getting shot in the back. I mean, I guess there are enemies that you're just not supposed to kill. Although I wondered, like, in that compound that I kept dying at, I think I cut, I think by now I'll have cut most of that out, but there's a compound with, like, enemies that got helicoptered in that I killed. Uh, some of them tried to kill some of the enemies, but they were ridiculously strong, like invincible strong, so I obviously didn't kill them. Okay. <laughs> Sneaking in this game is pretty much non-existent. But these guys are not immortal, thankfully. Who shot me? You. You have a shotgun. Come over here. Okay, your shotgun can hit from that far. Impressive. Oh, and I can just jump through that. Good to know. Okay. I mean, it looks like there's a whole bunch of places they want you to sneak around in, but you just can't. Like, you just flat out can't sneak in them. Although that guy isn't seeing me for some reason. All right, let's go see what what awaits us up here. Oh, what? Jeez. The game lagged and then got my button stuck. That was awesome. <laughs> what a waste of ammo. I don't know why. Like, I'm getting 200 FPS. <laughs> you know, it's not like I'm lagging. The game is just jittering every now and then. It's head bobbing. Some call realism, I call annoyance. Okay. Where'd you go? Got shot someone over here. I almost fell down that. <laughs> That'd have been really annoying. You guys have the wrong type of ammo. Save here. Okay, I wonder if there's even anything worth getting. Thunder is cool, man. I love thunder. I love storms. Especially in games that do them correctly. Skyrim would be one of them. Okay. Let's see here. It sounds like all audio is just kind of stereo, so it makes it a little bit difficult trying to pinpoint where <laughs> some of these enemies are sometimes. Okay. You also, like, get stuck running sometimes? I don't know what that's about. 
I hope headshots matter in the next Stalker games. Oh, he's dead, okay. Oh good, looks like he actually had some ammo for me. Okay, so our friend is over there, and it sounds like there's some radiation on the way. No radiation yet. Oh my gosh! Scared the crap out of me. 